Hey, what's going on YouTube? Hope everyone's having an excellent day. Let's get to the videos. The most disturbing website on the internet because it has the ability to find every single photo that exists of you on the internet. So as I just mentioned, the most disturbing website has the ability to find every photo of you that exists. People are calling it the most disturbing website for obvious reasons because of what it does, but you literally just give it a photo of yourself and it scans the entire internet. The website is called PIMEYES.com. This website uses AI to identify any other pictures of you that are online. I done it for myself and I found a bunch. All you have to do whenever you open up the website is upload a photo of yourself and let the AI do its magic. Also, I will say whenever I tried this, it does let you upload more than once so you can get better, like accurate results. But I found that it's better if you only use one photo instead of multiple. But obviously you can try it for yourself and see what works for you. This website is meant to identify the photo you provided and bring together every other picture that it can find that's on the internet. A bunch of people have been able to use this service to find other people using their photos and stuff, which I think is really cool because you can get them taken down. But also more importantly, you can find old photos of yourself you haven't seen in a while. I do these daily roundups every day, so add me and come back to me tomorrow. That's pretty fascinating because the fact that you can put an image up and see all your see all your information online is interesting, but it's concerning at the same time. I personally type my name in all the time on Google and see what information comes up and not Go to the data brokers and request take it down because they have to if you ask. Unbelievable. I'm here at the bank machine. And look at this. Is that not the same guy from downtown? Hold on, there's three empty machines. He's not waiting for a machine. Excuse me, sir. Who sent you? I can't tell if he's being paranoid or somebody actually out to get him. Either way, he should be careful. I did it in, in four basic stages. Uh, the first one being demoralization. It takes from 15 to 20 years to demoralize a nation. This is the minimum number of years which requires to uh, educate one generation of students. The demoralization process in the United States is basically completed already. It's done by Americans to Americans, thanks to lack of moral standards. The next stage is destabilization. It takes only from two to five years to destabilize a nation. What matters is essentials, economy, foreign relations, defense systems. The next stage, of course, is crisis. It, it may take only up to six weeks to, to bring a country to the verge of crisis. And after crisis, with a violent change of, of power, structure, and economy, you have normalization. It may last indefinitely. This is what will happen in the United States if you allow all the schmucks to bring the country to crisis, to promise people all kinds of goodies and the paradise on earth. I promise you. To, to destabilize your uh, economy, to eliminate the principle of free market competition, and to put a big brother government in Washington, D.C., your leftists, all these professors and all these beautiful civil rights defenders, they are instrumental in the process of the subversion only to destabilize the nation. Man, it sounds like this guy really knows what he's talking about, and it sounds like we're on the verge of normalization. But I suggest we should be definitely be careful. That look like something out of a sci-fi movie, like a sound like like beam. Laser. Did you know that Billie Eilish has a demon? Watch this. <laughs> if you know that Jesus is more powerful than the devil, subscribe now. And go watch the video that I pinned in the comments to learn the truth about going to heaven when you die. Yeah, he definitely is stronger than the devil. And when it comes to her looking like she was possessed, it's not surprising. At all. Zimbabwean woods, man. Do you hear me? It is not a game. They are shitting themselves to death. Old Zimbabwean is a fucked up drug, and it's too strong. And they don't know how to tell you it's too strong. They say Oprah took so much that Gail lost twelve pounds. They don't understand what I'm telling you. It's too strong. Do you know? First, I was just like, man, it's just because they're aging. But if you look at uh, Grande. He aged so rapidly in like a year. It's very concerning. Whatever they use to keep themselves to look young is definitely fading. Oh, okay. A bit of a history lesson. Do you know that women were not, the women's teams were not allowed to have brackets until 2022? 
think about that and what that talk about progress, you know, better late than never, but progress and what that has done. Because of course, when, you know, I had a bracket, I'm, it's not broken completely, but I won't talk about my bracket. <laughs> But you know what, just the, how we love, we love March Madness and even just now allowing the women to have brackets and what that does to encourage people to talk more about the women's teams, to watch them. Now they're being covered, you know, and, and this is the reality. People used to say, oh, women's sports, who's interested? Well, if you can't see it, you won't be. But when you see it, you realize, oh. I'll explain. We have to excuse her. She's kind of special. You know what I mean? Things if you're enjoying this video and this type of content, I make videos like this several times a week. It'll be so cool if you hit the subscribe button and come join me on my next video. Things caught on camera. What creature is this? What was that? Literally like someone fell out of the sky. Maybe it was an animal. Regardless, the guy's very lucky that he didn't get hit while he was on his bike. You can slap, but um, also stroke. Let me see. I'll know if she's my dog. Marlene, sit. Turn around. Turn around. Lay down. You're not my dog. My dog don't know how to do no fucking trick. Uh-uh. The fuck? Call 911. Hey, man, that skinwalker tried, man, but she was too smart. Man was home alone when he heard his daughter calling for him while she was at school. So, I don't know how to explain this, but my daughter's at school. And I keep hearing something called. Did you hear that? Oh my God, Brooke, are you here? Brooklyn. Oh my God. There's literally no one here. Like, oh my God. It's either two things, either he faking it and using a recording of his daughter's voice or that's a mimic and he need to leave ASAP. Let's see built their own son. This is absolutely crazy and you will seriously not believe why and how they did this. So this town right here is Viginella in Italy. Now why is everyone here just looking up at the sun? Well, I'll get to it. Now basically this town is plunged into complete darkness for three months a year. It is surrounded by valleys, mountains, high trees which all block out the sun, meaning that literally no light can get to this place. Now of course no light means no fun. It means that the village has increased crime rates, people are much less happy and it's just a not very nice place. But they came up with a solution. So to combat the darkness, the town actually built their own sun on the top of a mountain. Basically, they placed large mirrors around the mountain tops, which would reflect the rays from the sun down onto the town. Pretty clever, and I mean, well, it worked. The majority. Good for them because winter depression is no joke. Three of American cheese is made from genetically modified rennet. I posted a video on fermentation produced rennet yesterday and everyone flooded my comments with questions, so I want to answer them. Pfizer took fermentation produced rennet known as FPC to market in 1990 as the first genetically engineered food approved for human consumption. Pfizer sold their rennet assets to the Danish biosciences company Christian Hansen in 1996. Christian Hansen still uses a nearly identical process to produce their FPC as Pfizer and sells it under the patented name Primax. According to their FDA notice letter, Christian Hansen inserts genes from a cow and camel into a genetically modified black mold called A. niger. The inserted gene starts the production of chymosin in the A. niger microbes, which are then fermented and purified. Since the genetically modified microbes are removed from the final product, the rennet is not considered a GMO product itself. Just like Pfizer, Christian Hansen received generally recognized as safe status to start selling their FPC rennet. GRAS status allows food and chemical companies like Christian Hansen to submit their own products as generally recognized as safe for their intended use to avoid the FDA's pre-market review and safety testing. Christian Hansen recently merged with the biotech and biopharmaceutical company Novozymes to produce Novonesis. 
From what I can find, they are the main producer of FPC rennet, which as a whole is used to make around 90% of American cheese. Their Kymax rennet contains 0.5 to 1% sodium benzoate as a preservative and also caramel color. When the FPC rennet is used, the label would most likely say vegetable rennet. This is confusing to customers because when you see vegetable rennet on an ingredient list, you assume it's naturally made from vegetables. You probably wouldn't suspect that it's made from fermented and purified GMO black mold with a cow gene. There are other kinds of real vegetable rennet made from artichokes, dried caper leaves, fig juice, ground ivy, nettles, or thistle, but these are rarely used because of supposed bitter aftertaste. So when you see cheese companies like Tillamook, who commented on my last video saying their rennet is not considered genetically engineered and is not made by a pharmaceutical company, they are telling a half-truth. Like I said in my previous video, the input ingredient is genetically modified, but the end product in the cheese is not. And while Christian Hansen is not a pharmaceutical company, they are a bioscientist company that just merged with a biotech and biopharmaceutical company. So why is FPC rennet used? Well, the two big reasons are that animal rennet is more costly and there's societal stigmas surrounding calf rennet, despite the fact that it's a byproduct of the veal industry. So on one hand, you would think there's no way that this can be healthy. While on the other, you would think, well, the GMO microbes are not even in the final product. So how is this cheese any different? The simple answer is we don't know for sure and need more testing and research to be 100% certain. With that being said, the genetically modified black mold microbes are removed during purification and only small amounts of chymosin is used to make the cheese. Your decision on whether or not you feel comfortable eating cheese made with FPC rennet is totally up to you. Our health agencies tend to side with chemical and food companies while I tend to be on the side of caution. And let me know in the comments below if I should make a complete guide on what cheeses are made with rennet and what kind of rennets they use. This man, that is disheartening because 90% of the cheese people eat is American cheese. I believe the only cheese that doesn't have that remnant, rennet in it is Parmesan and mozzarella. So you can't even eat cheese no more. You better off grabbing a bowl and just putting ice cubes in it all at your dinner. Man was walking back from fishing when he captured this on video. Yo, what the? F what the? Bro. There's nobody in here. Yo. <laughs> the simulation. That's a setup. Either way, either be from like an entity or anything of the sort or a regular person. That's a setup. You need to leave ASAP. And you said they just found evidence of it? As they began to learn through the LHC, the Large Hadron Collider in Switzerland, colliding these atoms and particles together, they discovered we're living in a matrix. And then Professor James Gates took it another level and said, wow, we are living in a matrix because he discovered these symbols by the Dogons called Adinkra codes. Mm -hmm. And these Adinkra codes, when you take them from flat print and take them into three-dimensional objects, they're mathematical codes, but not any type of mathematical code. They're error correcting codes. Mm -hmm. The same type that runs certain engines and web browsers and that is what he discovered is running the ether of space time itself so we have his expert analysis with his team that he put together that we're living inside of a matrix running on error correcting codes like our search engines and web browsers we have the lhc confirming that we're living in a light matrix and we also have then the double slit experiment confirming in superposition everything exists in multiple realities as a wave of potentials until a conscious observer collapses it into solid material man if that's true can we please Change the code and get an update so everybody can just get whatever they want as long as it's not hurting anyone. Because current world is so boring and so sad. It is vital that our nation discuss and address the threat of pandemic flu now. If we wait for a pandemic to appear, it will be too late to prepare. We have to put in place an infrastructure, not just here at home, but globally, that allows us to see it quickly, isolate it quickly, respond to it quickly.
I don't know. And their plan was horrible, but we all know their plan was also successful because that was definitely a plan, if you know what I'm saying. Why do you hang out with her? She is such a hoe. Why do you say that? Because I've seen her. My friend Sean had a pool party this summer. Sean? You know, Puff Daddy? Anyway, everybody was drinking Cristal champagne, and then it started to get wild, and people was getting freaky in the pool and stuff. I look over, and there was your girl getting buck wild in the jacuzzi. So? With a pickup dancer. I mean, that's nasty. I'm gonna give it to you wrong. Paris made sure that you don't get fucked. Straight up, there's a lot of fucking going on in the entertainment industry, the music industry, everybody's getting caught up in something. I'm, I'm, I'm cured now, though, everybody. I'm cured. Every day is good. You know, y'all can have me over for dinner. Every day is good. Not surprising at all. We find out about all this. He always kind of came off like a weirdo to me. You Americans on my last post, I said, you don't even know what's coming next. And voila, not even 24 hours later, the Senate caves in and passes Bill 702, wiping away more of your civil liberties with the Fourth Amendment. Okay? And that means the intelligence offices of the United States government, CIA, FBI, DEA, Homeland Security, Coast Guard, can all spy on you without a warrant. Unreasonable search and seizures without a warrant. If this was medieval times, we call that the Inquisition. Because if they can spy on you, that means they can use your neighbors to spy on you too. I don't know about the rest of you and how you truly feel about any of this, but if it was me, I'd kick that biatch Alexa out first and look for a carrier pigeon. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day because they was already spying on us to begin with. So nothing we can do about it at the end of the day unless we band together and go protest and try to give them the reverse. But we all know once something comes into a law, really hard to Make it the reverse it. War was a lie. There's a theory that the U.S. stayed in Iraq for over a decade after it was liberated. Not because of oil, but something way more powerful. In the 1920s, a British explorer discovered what was rumored to be the oldest known stargate in the world, which is a device that allows travel between planets almost instantly. It was located at what is known today as the Great Ziggurat. However, in the 1980s, Saddam Hussein fortified the ancient complex in an attempt to keep out explorers from seeing what was hidden inside, or at least that was the official statement. Furthermore, many have reported seeing strange ancient technology coming out of the Great Ziggurat, rumored to have come through the Stargate from an advanced civilization, with many people coming forward claiming to have been involved in classified programs where Stargate technology was used. People are starting to wonder if this is why we dumped so much money and resources into Iraq. So, is it possible that we've been there this entire time so we could get our hands on advanced ancient technology? Now that I always thought it was because of opium, but actually this kind of makes sense too. If you have open mind, I think about what they're saying, because that would be very, very useful to have a Stargate. There's three things that will be revealed after our deaths that exist now. What do you mean? What? There is a letter from Queen Elizabeth written to the mayor of Sydney. And she says, please don't open this letter until 2085. And it's like hidden in a, or it's being held in a like secret vault in Sydney, Australia. Interesting. Wow. It'll sign Elizabeth. Is it going to be revealed like something big? But then there's a, a movie called A Hundred Years, the movie you'll never see. Oh. But it's starring John Malkovich and it's to be released in theaters or to to the public in 2115 wow. they filmed it in 2015 and no one will see it yeah until 100 years goes by lame what if they know exactly what happens to us and they just made it what if john malkovich is a time traveler weird and then the last thing which was super weird jackie kennedy's bloody pink suit the suit that she was wearing yeah. uh -huh. when jfk was shot it's been held in a vault secret like no one's allowed to see it and they said they will release it to the public october 26 2103 weird why why alien blood don't know some that is crazy reason why i say that is because 
It's just like, why are they hiding all that? Now, just imagine if it was very useful information the public could use, and they waited 100 years plus to tell us. That's pretty messed up. People are saying the whole Wendy Williams documentary that she's pretty much allegedly playing this way to keep herself safe from any unalive. It's been working for Orlando Brown uh, to play crazy. Why, why, why would they want? Hey, no. And then I gave her some. I do what I do. I do what I do. Yeah, yeah. The oosh goth woosh wash a shit. Orlando's brilliant. Right. Yeah. Y'all spent time with yeah, him. We did. He's highly intelligent. Yes. Imagine what it's been like to wear this character for this long. Go that on. shit that he does is a character. Actually, the shit that he does online is the best acting he does. Is he speaking truth? Of course he is. <laughs> Since he was a kid. Oh, man. Easter Island. Oh, man. Easter Island. I've been trying to go to Easter Island for the last 10 years. You can't get in? Nobody's going to get in now because they just went there. Somebody went there and lit that place on fire. Yes. What? They burned down the majority of the Moai heads. They, they put some type of a chemical on the Moais and lit that on fire, which melted solid stone. When did this happen? That happened in October of 2022. Yeah. Somebody went there and ruined it. How do you get that much fuel on the island? It's hard to get there. How do you get the fuel there? Somebody manually had to go and burn all these heads. And my biggest dream was to go there because those bodies, their heads are just the top of the body. There's full bodies underneath the ground that go down for meters. And their hands are holding weapons in some cases. They have technology in their hands. But these things are super megalithic. And the reason why the heads are above the ground is because... There was obviously a global flood, and that's a mud flow that covered these things up. There's similar heads like you can find in South America. Really? Yeah, similar with the body still attached. There's this link that there wasn't just isolated civilizations, that this was a, at one point a global civilization. Pay attention. One thing people don't deny that it was a global flood that happened like 12,000 plus years ago. Now, that's a shame you can't go to East Island. I always wanted to go to they always hide and stuff. They don't want us to know that other civilizations had advanced technology. And listen, because Tucker Carlson reveals that there is spiritual beings underwater. Look, you know, it goes outside of what we understand about physics. No visible means of propulsion, you know, coming at indescribable speed, hitting the ocean, continuing at speeds that are impossible under sea. I mean, in other words, if I, if I take a, you know, Nine millimeter router, seven six two by thirty nine. It shoots you at fifty yards underwater in a swimming pool, and it's even more intense in salt water because it's denser. You could catch the bullet if it even makes it to you, right? So if you have a craft, any object underwater that's traveling at five hundred knots as measured by sonar, right there, you're challenging our understanding of physics. Like, what is that? How can that be? So yep. they've they've tracked that. They've tracked things going five hundred knots under the sea. Yeah, really. Yeah, much much faster than any object could, can actually go under under sea. Oh, for sure. Oh yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on underwater, and um, a lot. And there's video of these things coming out of the sky into the water and also emerging from the water. Right. So, the so many things in the water that we will never know about because they are trying to go into space when so many parts of our under underwater haven't been explored yet very different and eerie about this election cycle have you noticed what it is i've been following elections since a very young age about the age of 12 which i know is quite strange but around that age i started to get very interested in politics and follow every presidential cycle very closely so this is now the fifth one i've been through paying close attention and I've noticed something extremely, extremely odd. The first thing I've noticed is we are well into the season. We are very close. And there is no campaigning going on. None whatsoever. And I've also noticed that the news cycle is not dominated by the story of this election. Which begs the question, do they anticipate that they need to campaign for it? 
it almost seems as if they already know the end before the beginning. It's almost as if they're not even concerned at all about the outcome because they already know what the outcome is going to be. There's something going on here. And to me, it's quite obvious. Most of the time, usually most of the time, it's scripted. A lot of these big events, even when it comes to voting for the president, I feel like it's scripted. And as a millennial, I felt like we never had a good candidate on either side ever. So I'm just kind of used to it. If you ever see this floating pink ball in the ocean, going the other way might just save your life. An Australian fisherman noticed what he thought was a downed hot air balloon, but when he got close enough to smell it, he realized what it was and that his life was in danger. Because this hot air balloon was actually a rotting upside down whale carcass, and the hot air was actually trapped gas that caused the decaying whale corpse to become bloated. When whales die, they decompose, and with nowhere to go, the gas that gets produced ends up trapped inside all that blubber. The reason you don't want to be anywhere near it is because it's a ticking flesh bomb that can explode and shower you in a confetti of blood and guts. Not only is that trauma enough to pay off your therapist's mortgage, since a bloated past tense whale can launch its guts at 45 miles per hour, it can actually kill you if you're close enough. And if you're dumb enough to be standing on the whale when it explodes, it can real life launch you clear in the air. In 2004, a 60 foot sperm whale was being transported down a busy street in Taiwan when it suddenly painted the entire block red. I couldn't tell you if it was cloudy, but it was in fact raining meatballs. In 1970 in Oregon, people used dynamite to blow apart a 50 foot whale carcass that had washed ashore. What they thought it would do was divide the whale into easier to manage pieces. What actually happened was chunks of whale rained down on the crowd of people that had gathered by the watch and one piece was so thick it actually destroyed a man's car. Moral of this video, that's not a hot air balloon, it's a flash pass to Jesus if you're not careful. Ice Spice is an industry plant and here's proof. We Check got another out. one in the roster, let's go. Hey, is that what Ice Spice was trying to do at Super Bowl? It's not a try. She did, she did. And you know what? And I don't care what nobody say because I'm always right at the end of the day when it comes to this stuff, every time. She's an industry plant, it's common. You came from nowhere. Your little mm. short, no, <laughs> girl, no, no, uh -uh. She does seem as when they You get... just came from anywhere. And so the other girl, give me sweat, whatever, make me high. Come on, now that sounds like there's a little bitty girl Plan. who just they make some sand for him. Damn. Plants. Plants. Gives her dick more since, what's this, March, February, next she cold blooded free. Damn. Trying to throw a way out. Watch. <laughs> One song gave you a Grammy, but you got people like A.G. Stone. You've been around since I was 10 years old, being a rapper. Never got one. Hey. How's that possible? You walk right in the song, so on the fucking radio hot, you got a Grammy. How do you do that? That's true. This is Ice Spice before the fame. Do you think she's an industry plant? Definitely. I think most people nowadays are industry plants. But to me, she stands out really high. She doesn't perform well. She doesn't do anything well yet. You can hear her everywhere. I don't know what's, what to tell you. It's definitely a plant. This is a made up fairy tale. Every ancient civilization had the same exact depiction of the universe. The Greeks, the Mayans, the Babylonians, the Incans, Navajos, Tibetans, the Celtics, the Norse, Islam, the Masons, the Hebrews, which is the true biblical cosmology, the Slavics, the Sumerians, Kumash, the Hindus, and the Egyptians, all have depicted a flat stationary earth with a firmament dome over top, surrounded by water. When they tell us they're going to space, they're really just going to this area between the firmament and the earth. And it's not that big. We don't live in an ever-expanding galaxy. This is made to deceive you and make you feel like a small little speck. This is Warner Von Braun's gravestone. He's one of the founders of NASA. And on his gravestone, it reads Psalms 19, verse 1. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. The firmament is this glass dome where all the stars are located. And the sun and the moon. These things are local. Which is why we're able to catch pictures of the sun with clouds in front of it and clouds behind it. We're living in a matrix. Which is why you need to go download the True Earth book in my profile right now. Take your mind out of it. 
Don't forget to like and follow, and I'll see you guys in the next one. People like this are always talking about their mind. They're still going to be in this simulation regardless of somehow you realize you're in a simulation. Nothing, you'll be more aware of it, but that's as far as it goes. Like, they always, when I think about it, I always imagine like somebody unplugging, like on the movie Matrix, but there's no, you can't do that here, so. Oh my God, I think there was something cooking in my room. I don't know. I just woke up. I heard someone screaming. I'm through the window. What is he doing? There's something cooking in my room. I don't know. I am convinced that humans are way more scarier than anything paranormal. Because you know what humans are capable of doing, and they are capable of doing very foul and disgusting things. Holding your hand from above, and then holding your hand around across absolutely all possible planes. And many people asked me why the cord did not go up. The thing is that during telekinesis, you can do directly for some part of the object. And everything else that's attached to that object, it can just hang as it would actually hang if you just picked it up using your hands. How do you feel about skeptics? How do you feel about those people who say that everything you do is a fake? It's a montage. It's not true. It's an illusion. It's fake that you're deceiving, that you're a bad person. I just see the comments on the channel. I read them all, including, and it's horrible that people write like that. There are so many people, so many opinions. And to be honest, sometimes I even find it funny to read some of the comments because I'm accused directly using a remote controlled mechanism, which I activate with a tap of my foot and everything starts moving. Friends, I'll tell you honestly, everything that concerns works that requires flexibility, that requires some kind of manual dexterity, I don't have it all. To be honest, sometimes I feel like I have two left hands. And CD is one thing, hands are not really important here, but to make something directly, to do something, it's hard for me, for example, to even solder two wires, that's a challenge for me. But to make some mechanism that will drive, that will pull something, that will spin. If I could do that, I'd probably be the happiest man on this planet. So, unfortunately, I have to disappoint. But everything I do is because of this. How much time you need to spend on lifting the object? I mean, you still need time. Let's say you don't do it in a week. Hey, I, I don't buy the telekinesis at all. I feel like he could just have a string above it and just be moving his hands around to, to be flashing, to distract you from it. I, I'm not buying it. I wish telekinesis was real. But I've seen too many... Bonies. Attachments and subliminal messages through movies. Let's talk about how that actually works. So there was a new movie that just released called Late Night with the Devil and I went to watch it yesterday night at a movie theater. But I could not even make it past 30 minutes into the movie. And if you read here on the bottom it says, In 1977, a live television broadcast goes horribly wrong, unleashing evil into the nation's living rooms. 
As a psychic, when I tell you that movie was heavily charged with demonic reptilian energy, I mean it. About 20 minutes into the movie, something like that, I get this very uneasy feeling and I'm hearing my spirit, spirit team say, put a protection bubble around you right now or we're gonna do it for you. And I also felt hands on my shoulders. It was like my spirit team, like kind of like charging me with good energy or protective energy because the energy of the movie got very sinister very quick. And for some reason, my higher self, my intuition told me, do this, this hand symbol for protection, like the one that Christ or Jesus has this. I believe also Shiva does this hand symbol, something similar to that. And here's the creepiest part. While I was doing the symbol, a full minute later, one of the characters in the movie is presented. And the character's name is Christoi, like Christ. And in the movie, he is described as the shining light. And as this character appears on screen, he waves at people in this symbol. The same symbol I was doing in the movie theater to try to protect myself. That character represented Christ. But the whole movie's theme was about an interview with the devil. So the devil appears later in the movie. I couldn't even make through the movie. I literally was like, I gotta go right now. And I just bolted out of the movie theater. And the whole night I just felt uneasy. Like I welcomed some kind of bad energy into me. And if you read the synopsis, it says it unleashes the devil or evil into the world's living rooms. So this movie, and they do this in Hollywood a lot, they will put sigils, symbols, symbolism, energies, subliminal messages, and feed them into your brain or unleash the energies into wherever you are. Movie theater, your home, outside, doesn't matter. This is why TV, it's called programming. It's programming you. We have to understand that we live in a holographic universe. Everything is frequency and vibration. If there are entities out there that can hop dimensions and are morphogenetic, meaning they can move in and out of material realms as they wish, why is it so hard to believe that they can attach to you through electricity, which is TV, or electrical wires that make the TV, the computer, the laptop work? A lot of people who have encountered demons say they are energetic feeders, same thing with reptilians, they are energetic feeders. So please be careful with the kind of media you consume because you don't want something to attach to you. Also, if you want to ask me why I watched the movie, I was just curious because my intuition was like, there is some kind of subliminal hidden message in that movie. But if you're curious to learn more about the reptilians, demonic entities, fallen angels, how they work within this matrix, how they consume human energy, how they farm human energy, my book, Made in God's Image, is linked in my bio. I made that book because Every time I say something close to the truth here on TikTok or I'm explicitly saying something, my videos get taken down or I'm threatened by a ban. So 